Hey, what's up, YouTube family? It is Monday, July 6th, right around 2 o'clock p.m. right now, and just been kind of answering emails, getting back with some clients, uh, uploading a video this morning, just kind of been trying to get a lot of my work out of the way today. Uh, started my day out with a monster, uh, one of the Ultra Sunrises, had about a third of it left, decided to pour it in my shaker cup, going to mix that with about 8 to 12 ounces of water and then a scoop of C4. So. Uh, this workout should be pretty good. Gonna go ham on this push workout here in a little bit. Uh, hitting chest and triceps. So also going to have one serving of the Sour Patch Kids watermelon. These are actually my favorite ones, by the way. I really love these. But uh, about to head to the gym, hit this push, push workout, and I'll see you guys there. All right, guys, so going to bring you a quick commentary here over this bench press session because what I wanted to talk about was checking your ego and really warming up properly. As you can see, I started out warming up with the bar, then I moved on to a 25 before I even hit one plate on bench press just to warm up with. Something that is absolutely extremely important is that you warm up your muscles, you warm up your joints properly because if you want to go heavy and you want to make fitness and lifting something that you do your entire life, don't burn yourself out, destroy your joints when you're young. Make sure you're warming up properly, make sure you're stretching, make sure you're using bands when you need to use bands. If you're using light weight, check your ego at the door. I have no problem warming up with the bar, warming up with the 25, and then working my way up to two plates like I'm doing right now. I have absolutely no problem doing that because I have checked my ego at the door and what my goals are are not oriented around pushing tons of weight. It's a lifestyle and it's something that I want to do the rest of my life. But uh, this is going to wrap up this commentary. Stick around. I've got a special one coming later. All right, guys. So leaving the gym and... Uh, I've probably told you guys a couple times before, but my phone is the worst. I try to keep up on my Snapchat game. If you guys are not following me on Snapchat, go to Snapchat, add me, Treg Fisher. Uh, basically, any social media, you can find me, Treg Fisher. Not a lot of people have that name, but um, I try to keep up on my Snapchat game, try to um, post a lot of stuff throughout the day kind of give you guys behind the scenes stuff that you might not necessarily see in these YouTube videos but with my phone every time I try to upload something it just kills my phone immediately it's almost like snapchat sucks so much battery life out of my phone that I can hardly use it and it's just killing my snapchat game but I guess uh, hashtag first world problems but uh, yeah Got to head home now, uh, drink my post-workout shake, or protein shake, core, two scoops of Cellucor's Core Performance Whey Protein. That's what happens. You can't talk when you haven't had any carbs today. But about to head home, get a post-workout meal. I'll see you guys in the next clip. So, so hearing about that, as that developed over the last month, I was like, wow, that kind of makes sense. And I love Collider, so hopefully good luck with you or whatever. We didn't know what was going to happen. All right, so just finished up my meal, jumped in the shower real quick after that. Now I'm headed to church tonight. I am helping coach a summer sports camp at my church. Uh, it's kind of like an elementary uh, basketball camp, and it's all week. Tonight is Monday, so I will get to meet all these kids, uh, get to meet my team, and this is something I really do enjoy. I mean, working with younger kids like this, it's just something I have a passion for because being able to be a positive role model for kids that might not have that, I mean, it's the least I can do. Plus, giving back and volunteering some of my time out of uh, my evenings, I mean, it's the least I can do for a cause that I really do believe in. But uh, here at the church now, about to head inside, I'll see you guys most likely after camp in the next clip. Alright guys, so it is Tuesday afternoon, just got in from getting the mail, had a package, and this is what I got. So really excited here, um, finally decided to make an upgrade. What I got 
was the Sony A5100. Sorry about this lighting. Let me move a little bit. Uh, what I got was the Sony A5100. So if you guys have seen uh, the online coach's channel, uh, this is the camera that he has. So um, one of the cool features of this camera is that it also has the flip up screen so as you can see right here it's got that flip up screen so when you're vlogging you'll be able to kind of see what you are shooting um, the camera itself is a lot more high quality than the one I have right now. Um, what this camera came with, it came with a little charging station here that you can plug into the wall, um, a connector cable, then it came with two batteries, which is huge because the Sony Handycam I'm shooting on right now that you guys are watching this in, uh, this only has one battery, so I'm constantly charging this thing up. So this will be a nice change of pace to have two batteries, and then came with a 16 gig memory card and then an overhead strap that you can put on to the camera I will most likely probably not be using this because I'm not going to be carrying it around um, over my neck like that and then the biggest thing that it came with was uh, this lens right here so as you can see um, a pretty good lens I'm going to be able to take some high quality pictures with this uh, which is something that I definitely want to start doing um, is taking a few more pictures so really excited to start using this a5100 I'm not going to decommission my handy cam because this is the camera that I started my YouTube channel on I remember the day that I finally um, decided to take that step I hit purchase on Amazon and I bought this handy cam and ever since then my life has been completely changed through YouTube through the fitness industry different things like that so this handy cam will never ever be obsolete unless it breaks which um, it's been dropped it's been through a lot it's been through um, a couple drops it's been um, rained on I mean this Sony handy cam is a trooper and it will forever hold a special place in my heart but making an upgrade now to the Sony a5100 going to charge it up a little bit hopefully uh, can get enough of a charge before I go to the gym planning on going to the gym in about 45 minutes to an hour so hopefully I can get it charged up a little bit play around with it and hopefully the workout that you guys see will be with the a5100 if not um, definitely tomorrow's uh, workout will be shot with the A5100, but uh, about to charge it up now. And I'll see you guys in the next clip. All right, guys. So you are seeing the first workout that has been shot with this Sony A5100, and I am so happy to start really using this camera. The gym was packed tonight, so I only got a few clips with this camera, but I'm really going to start using this camera for all of my workouts, all of my vlogging, and I'm so excited. And what I wanted to do was thank each and every one of you guys that watch my videos, because without your guys' support, without your guys' views, without the thumbs up and the likes on the videos, without the subscriptions that I have been blessed with, Without your guys' support, none of this would be possible, and I just want to say thank you from the bottom of my heart. Your guys' support really does mean the world to me. I can't stress it enough. I'm not just saying it. It really does mean a ton to me. So um, I hope you guys enjoy this new quality. I'm really excited for all the things I'm going to be able to do in the future, but this is going to wrap up this video now. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video.